Hi, this is Edward Nowatka from Publishing Perspectives. I'm here at the Feria del Libro, or the Buenos Aires Book Fair, as it's better known. And I'm here with Gabriela Adamo, the executive director of the fair, uh, recently appointed. And we're going to talk about uh, this year's event. How are you today, Gabriela? Fine. Tired, because we've been working like crazy to get here, but mm -hmm. very happy that it will start to the public today. And so when the public opens, when it opens to the public, how many um, guests do you expect to uh, attend the fair over the next, uh, it lasts for several weeks? And Buenos Aires is a huge fair. It's huge because of the area it covers, um, huge because of the amount of people that visit us. It's mm -hmm. over a million visita visitors we have every year. And it's a very long fair. It lasts three weeks if you count the professional sessions in the beginning and up to the last day we're working. That's an extraordinary amount of time and a large amount of people. It, does it represent a significant portion of the revenue for Argentine publishers in terms of book sales? It does. It does for several reasons, because of the big amount of public that comes in, but also because it's a moment where publishers sell directly to the to the public, to the readers, so uh, for them it is a very important uh, part of the revenues. And then also what, uh, what has to do with exports, it's around the, a quarter of what they, what they earn every year is made in, during the fair. And as far as um, the interaction with the public goes, do you, um, do you see the publishers competing with each other to get readers' attention? Because certainly there are a number of booksellers as well on the, on the show floor also competing to sell the same books. Yes, uh, of course there is competition. It constantly exists. Um, the fair is organized by a foundation that is made up by booksellers, by, by publishers, by authors, the different chambers that mm -hmm. reunite these uh, persons. So they're all present here, they get together to get the fair going, but then of course they compete once it opens. But it, I think it's a very healthy competition, and one of the results is that we have a big amount of events, open talks, discussions, round tables, authors signing their books, because that's the way to attract the public and therefore sell. And what role does the fair play for the publishing community throughout Latin America and the Spanish-speaking publishing community worldwide? It, it is a very important role. Um, the booksellers all over Latin America come to Buenos Aires to see what we are publishing and to buy what they need for their for their bookstores. Um, but I think it also, I mean, Buenos Aires, the publishers in Argentina have a, a very important role in what they choose to translate. Uh, it's very important to know that books are not only translated in Spain, but they are translated here too. And the Argentinian publishers have a very good taste in, in, in literary fiction and they have a big interest in everything that has to do with social sciences, essays, uh, political thinking and so on. All the books that maybe Spain doesn't like or that the, these books don't fit into the Spanish catalogs, they do have a place here. and booksellers and professors and readers, not only in Latin America, but also in the United States for the Spanish-speaking market, they know that we do have a very different list here than in Spain and come here to see what our publishers chose and take it to their readers. Is the fact that um, that the publisher, the publishers themselves, are somewhat more modestly sized than the big Spanish conglomerates allow them to take risks on books that uh, might not otherwise happen in Spain? Yes, I think there is a different of factors, a different set of factors that make this happen. Um, of course, there is an economic factor in the fact that the big bestsellers can't be bought by the smaller houses in Latin America, so they are bought in Spain. Um, Argentinian publishers have to be very quick and have to know how to find smaller books um, which cater to different tastes. But then there's also a very big university here in Buenos Aires, the UBA, many private universities, a big uh, un academic public, so to say, and we've had a long tradition in this, um, in this area, and we are known as agenda setters in these kind of translations. 
Certainly, I've heard the word philosophy, philosophia, said more often here than I have in several years since graduating. Probably the word philosophy and the word psychoanalysis. Psychoanalysis Indeed. are the two big areas, and I don't think there are so many translations of uh, Lacan and Heidegger as as they are here in Argentina. And there are readers for them as well. Which there is are readers, and there are the translators because it's a very tough job. Um, how many exhibitors do you have this year, and how large is the fair? The fair, uh, I don't know to say it in square feet. We mm. work with the metric system here, sure. so we have 45,000 square meters. Yes. And around 1,500 exhibitors. Yes. Individual exhibitors. They may be together in a stand. We have around 500 stands uh, mm. all, all over, and uh, more than thousand events. And it's an interesting year because it comes in between two big events for the Argentine li literary community. First, the appearance as guest of honor in Frankfurt last year, meaning that a lot of attention was brought to bear on Argentine literature. And now the launch of uh, Buenos Aires is the world book capital for 2011. And uh, how do you see that um, um, well, how do you see that uh, you know, affecting the sort of general global perception of Argentine literature? I think Frankfurt was great in that aspect. Um, we had never had so many authors translated all at once at last, as last year. Over 200 Argentinian authors were translated into different languages and the press all over looking at us. And also our publishers visiting Frankfurt and seeing how work is done in, in the best publishing houses in the world and bringing back all these ideas to Buenos Aires, to Latin America and to set them at work here. I think that is very, very important and we'll see uh, lots of effects in that area. And Buenos Aires Capital Mundial del Libro, World Capital, I think is uh, it, there couldn't have been a price given more justly than that one. We have more libraries in Buenos Aires than many countries have it, in the whole country and these libraries can live together with this fair with over a million uh, visitors so you can see that the book is very important for us it's part of our daily li life today we have this long tradition as a literary country but it is still alive today here um, and, and you can see that in, in this nomination